me better when I was yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better. Hey guys and welcome welcome back to my channel. I know, I know finally a makeup video for me on my channel, but y'all know new place, new environment, we're trying to get settled in, new background. We're figuring it all out as we go along. As you can see by the title today, I'm doing a full face of Charlotte Tilbury. Now, a lot of the things I'm trying today are new to me, but because today's video is sponsored by Charlotte Tilbury and they've got a sale coming up at the end of the video, I will tell you about my top favorite product from the brand that you should definitely check out. So if you guys wanna see more, then let's go. So the first product I already use, cause y'all know I do my brows off camera. It is the Brow Cheat Micro Precision Brow Pencil. Y'all know I picked this up during one of the Sephora hauls that I posted, um, and I got it in one of the darker colors. So, since the move, I can't find the shade I was using. I think it was the last shade, Natural Black, I think. So I went to Sephora and I picked up this shade, which is, if I can find it, this shade is Black Brown. I think I wanna go back and get, or order Natural Black, because I like, the look that it was giving me but this brow pencil in general has easily become my favorite brow pencil i just like how it looks on the face it does what it has to do and my brows last all day the next thing i've got here is this eyeshadow palette this is the pillow talk instant eye palette it was giving me very everyday um eyeshadow look so that's why i picked this one up let's see what it's giving i'm going to use this shade here as my transition color I'm just gonna place that all up here. I'm gonna deepen up my crease with this brown shade. And then for my lid shade, I kinda wanna do a mixture of these two. Um, they're kind of giving both of them of oh, these two pink shades let's see if they're giving giving so ooh, okay so this shade they don't have names but this first pink one and the other pink shade Now to start on my complexion, I feel like this is one of their most talked about products, their Magic Cream. Um, I'm gonna use it as, you know, moisturizer on my face, moisturizer. And you know, if, you, if you're not like the primary person, if you put this on correctly with the rest of your skincare, you can probably get away with just that without primer. I'm still use primer, but y'all know what I mean. For foundation, I'll be using the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. There is a foundation on this, but I think in that one I used 15, which is a warm undertone. This one I'm using 16, which is a neutral undertone. Now this is new to me. It is the Magic Away Liquid Concealer in the shade 13. Let's see. It feels velvety. Like it's a liquid concealer, but it doesn't feel like, you know, liquid watery. Like velvet is the best way I could describe that. I don't know if y'all know, but you know how they have the Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder this in this shade Dark 3? Well, they now have a Dark 4 or Deep 4? Deep 4 shade that looks like this. So I'm actually going to use both. They do have a loose powder as well, but I'm going to just stick with what I know. So I'm going to use Dark 3 to set my um, T-zone, and then I'm going to use Dark 4 to set my whole face. Now one of the best things to come from Miss Tilbury is this bronzer. It's the Airbrush Bronzer in 4 Deep. See how big it is? That's what it looks like. And he's gonna dab. I 
She has blush, which I did not know. This is the Pillow Talk Lip and Cheek Glow Color of Passion. I got this shade, you know, she's giving real natural everyday color. I feel like you could probably apply this with your fingers, but y'all know I gotta touch things. I'm just going to brush it on. But this right here is the best thing that Miss Tilbury has ever launched. It is the Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. There's something about this. It just, it gives you the finish of like a painting that was just finished, right? After whatever painters do to like seal the canvas, like that's how your face looks after using this, so. And then y'all know when my face is still a little wet, I go in with the powder. This is the Deep Four Airbrush Flawless and just. I didn't know she had lip liners and she has a brown one. This is the Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk 3 Intense. I'm gonna use that to line my lips. And then for my lip color, I'm gonna use this gloss in the shade Seduction, I think that's what it says. And that is it for my full face of Charlotte Tilbury. Don't mind me, I just like saying her name. Um, but like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, they are having their summer sale, which runs from July 26th to August 16th. It is 30% off select lines, and I believe it is August 8th, yes, that there is the Charlotte Tilbury mystery box that you can pick up. So, I'm just saying, the things I'm about to talk about are the things that if you were gonna check it out, I would recommend you check out. The first one is the bronzer. Like all of the names kind of having like airbrush, flawless incorporated in them somehow, like it's a whole airbrush, that's the vibe that the brand gives, right? But this bronzer really does give you like airbrushed, finished on your face, um, just blends in seamlessly with the rest of your makeup that you've got going on. So if you are that bronzer type person, it is um, this one deep four is a more, you know, warm-ish. I know some people do like a cool tone, but um, if you do like that warm bronzer airbrushy look, definitely check out the bronzer. Again, the brow pencil, easy to use, looks great on. Um, I love the color of it. Mind you, I think this is my first time using this shade because I can't find the other one. I think the other one is natural black. So that's the only thing, you know, if you use me for like a reference and stuff like that, I prefer this in natural black. This is black brown, I believe. Yeah, black brown. Um, so that's the only thing, but the pencil itself, points. The magic cream, you could totally use this at night, you know, put it on, wake up, feeling hydrated, all that good stuff. But this under makeup, like I feel like I couldn't use just any moisturizer or cream, stuff like that under my makeup, like I'm real specific with it and I feel like this is a good one for that one. It's just like the right type of thickness under my makeup where it's just, it's gonna give me another layer of prep for my skin before actually putting on makeup application. I mean, she was new to me in this video, but this liner, especially if you do use brown liner, would be a good thing to check out at this time. You know, it just glides on. Um, I like this shade of brown as a lip liner because like all browns especially you know like my skin tone wouldn't work for me um and the last thing that i have to talk about y'all is this setting spray because it's like if you get nothing else check out this setting spray they were in that lab cooking all right they were cooking when they came up with this i don't know what's in it i'm sure the ingredients are right there that i could read it but whatever's in it does what it has to do on the face, especially my oily skin crew out there. Check this out if you check nothing else out from this video. So those are some of the top things I have tried from the brand that I would definitely recommend. Everything that I tried on will be linked in the description. Oh, did I mention the glosses? Her glosses 
are bomb. I think she's got like a couple different gloss collections. All of the glosses I've tried are bomb, okay? They are a tad bit stickier compared to other glosses, but um, they're pigmented. And I think because of that stickiness, like even if you eat, drink, stuff like that, talk during the day, um, you'll still have pigment on your lips by the end of the day. There was one I wore in a video. I think the shade is called Vixen. If I can find it, I'll link it down below as well. When I wore that, y'all were like, what is that? What is that? That's, that's what it was, the glosses. A1. Um, so that was my last recommendation. Everything will be linked in the description down below for you to check out. You know, she's given real complexion. I feel like that's what the brand's kind of uh, masters on. Probably a reason why like, this is my first time trying the eyeshadow. I feel like they kind of master more in um, complexion products. You know, be giving you real glow from within type of look, real just put together, real airbrushed. Right, so I just, that's what I feel like we're ending this video on. So that was my full face of Charlotte Tilbury. I hope I helped if you were thinking of checking anything out. If you want to see what some of the stuff looked like on, make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, turn notification bells, all of that down below. And thank you all for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.